Hey folks, welcome to Cibola National Wildlife Refuge along the Colorado River between Arizona, part of it's on Arizona and part of it's in California. This has been our place for the last few days. Right across the street there's the refuge headquarters over there <clears throat> and the visitor center. So right across the street we've been camped in a, a BLM area. So this is a new one for us. Ann took a look at the map when we were at the Salton Sea and started looking at places that were green. She found this wildlife refuge. And, uh, so I did a little research, went on a U.S. public campgrounds or something and found out there was a BLM spot here. So far it's only been us for about three days in one camper van. Talked to a bow hunter. I guess it's hunting season for the deer. And uh, he's been going out in the back country here. Let me just swing around. Around here. There's a lot of open land back here. So he goes back in there and he's been chasing the, a big buck or something with, a, with his bow. But if you look back this way, you've got a mountain range. I believe that's called the Chocolate Mountains. And that way is Yuma, back in there. And also there's the Yuma Proving Grounds, big military testing range. So you see some planes once in a while. But uh, there's not too much camping, unless you have a small vehicle like this road here. We came up here and followed this road a bit, up that ways. And there is a, lot, a big flat spot up there with lots of space. Some of the ground's a bit soft, so you'd have to watch the weather. You wouldn't want to come in here too far if there's a lot of rain in the forecast. Uh, there's a nice spot there. I didn't come up too far because there's a dip down here. Let's walk down there and take a look at that. Yeah, this is the dip and there's a bit of a wash goes through it so there wasn't anybody out here so I didn't need to go too far back. We found a nice uh, spot over here. Taking the beagle out for an early morning walk. Yeah, so this spot here, nice big uh, turnaround, nice and flat ground. There was a bit of a rough patch down here that we had to navigate. I'll give you a look at that. Yeah, this part here had a little bit of ruts and some uh, rocks. Nothing super sharp or anything, so it was no problem that way. There is an old uh, cattle guard right at the entrance, though. It wasn't a problem. It's plenty strong enough. And it's quite wide, so I didn't have any problem with our 30-foot fifth wheel. Just got to take it easy. So the big reason we came to camp at this uh, spot is to go visit the Cibola National Wildlife Refuge. So let's go up uh, to the viewing platform and see if we can spy any birds. Okay, so there's a little uh, viewing deck here. I'm here early in the morning, hoping to see the birds take flight. Looks like a lot of them are over in that field over there. The snow geese. So I guess in the winter they use these farmer fields and they just leave them for the birds. Leave behind some uh, food for them and stuff like that. There's a big uh, auto 
route that goes around there you can take your car in and drive around and over this way over in these trees over here there's a nice nature walk that goes out to uh, a wildlife blind and over this way there's a bunch of ponds where the birds land in all sorts of them ducks and geese I think there's even some uh, mule deer on the property, um, little bobcats, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I like to take the truck in, drive around. One thing we did find was some little uh, burrowing owls. So cute. So this morning I'm just waiting to see if the the birds are going to take off. It's pretty cool when the snow geese where the sandhill cranes all take flight. This little area here is also a little uh, desert uh, nature trail. You can get a little pamphlet and identify some of the desert plants and stuff like that. It's just a short little trail that goes around here. Later on today we're going to take a drive. You can drive along some of the levees and supposedly uh, down the way there's another big uh, pond or body of water that has a bunch of pelicans in it. That would be cool to check out. Oh, there they go. They're all headed to the pond. Wow, that's so cool. Whew. Sweet! Yeah, it looks like they're coming in for a landing on the pond over there. Here we are over in the pond, 
that you saw them land in. Pretty cool. Looks like they're all uh, maybe feeding on something. Not allowed to get out of the car here. They're used to vehicles, but not people walking around. A whole bunch more over there. This is the start of the auto loop here. Okay, just so stop along the auto route, auto route and we're going to take a little nature trail out to a wildlife viewing platform out here. See what we can see. Really pretty walk. Of course it's winter here so all the leaves are off the trees but still really peaceful, quiet. There we are. Nice little maybe half mile hike through the woods there. There's a little uh, wildlife uh, screen here to look through. See what's in here. Not too much. Looks like a lot of ducks. Quack, 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 quack. So here we are on what they call the auto tour road. Just a kind of a big loop you can drive along. You're not supposed to get out of your vehicle or anything. And you can watch the birds. Nice view right now. Sun's starting to set. Looks like there's a maybe an egret out there. Sitting in the field. And over this way, we have a whole bunch of uh, snow geese. They launched out of the pond a while ago. Hoping they take flight soon. And we got uh, Canada geese. And we got those uh, sandhill cranes. So, just going to stake out here a while. See what happens, see if we can capture them in the air with the sun setting. Woohoo, there they go, there they go! Wow! Oh, 
I guess they just decided to move position a little bit. Sandhill cranes now. There they are. So we've driven down a ways on this, what they call the levee road. Pretty good uh, solid road to drive on. And just walking down there, see if she can see any birds. And we stopped at this place called Heart Mine Marsh. Doesn't seem to be any birds anywhere. The lady said some pelicans were down here a while ago. Pretty though. Very picturesque country. Along the way I saw, as I was driving down, there was quite a few spots for boondock and there's some guys with ATVs and stuff, so most of the land over towards those uh, hills over there is uh, BLM. So we're going to go a ways further down, there's uh, Cibola Lake down there, and we'll see what's down there. It's also supposed to be an overlook. On a wire. And some cormorants. Comor yes, they like the river view. Spied some cat prints here. So there's a uh, bobcats in the area. Saw one across the when we were driving down the road. Oh, what's that? That's the rare species. That's the Yarping Beagleina species. What's wrong? Can't be without your daddy O for like two seconds. Start yarping like an idiot. Huh? What? It's past dinner time! Past dinner time! Emergency! Emergency! Past dinner time! Let's go back home and eat kibbles. What's up, Charlie? Not much, Fred. Standing in the cornfield in the rain. Yup. Yeah, there's some corn. 